My name's Xavier, and welcome to Macronova's Malicious Malcontents. All a seven of them. I did indeed bring seven people on a strength five supplied raid. I was really, I remember queuing this up at three and being really excited. I'm a little bit less excited and more worried now. We should be fine, uh, but regardless, uh, how are we going to do this? I think we're going to grab Varnect. We're going to go look around and find a really big pod, and then we're just going to blow that pod up. And that's about it. Okay, great. I see nothing. Let's come back here. I want to avoid running through all these trees. Line of sight is very, very, very fickle. Uh, so for now, no everyone just hang out over here. Let's see if I can, like, not spend ten minutes getting the mission started. I want to be kind of quick. Of course, kind of quick usually means uh, lots of people dying horrible deaths for no reason. But we'll see. Oh, okay, Mac out there to the right. And that's... All, I think I might have heard a muton stomp around up here to the right as well. Let's move up to this tree with the Varnect. And we see nothing. Alright, let's move up to this rock. Nothing. Alright. Uh, so, strategically speaking, this supply area doesn't matter so much. I don't care that much about this region. Although it would have been a good liberation candidate before the strength went up from 3 to 5. Although I, I don't think I've even done liberation 1 in it, so... I mean, it's not like that good of a candidate. Let's move over here with Varnect. However, just the supplies and the corpses are always very useful. Hopefully there's some Muton Elites, because that's what I need more than anything. And we see nothing. Uh, basically, I'm just gonna... God, Varnek just told me to... Just shushed me, as they say. I'm basically just gonna keep doing this for as many minutes as it takes. Mech really sounds close here on the right. I prefer not to ambush on a mech because I have a razor with a fire. That's affirmative. Anything? Uh, nothing. This is getting annoying. I just want to find all the things. We got something over here. Oh, sounds like a lot of troopers up here. So let's do this. Let's bring Varnek up to a place where we might see more of them. Uh, nothing so far. This is getting kind of silly. Uh, let's toss out a scanner now. We see a muton over there to the right. And actually nothing over here. Fascinating. All right, well, in this case, uh, let's start bringing everyone over here to the right. Because clearly there's nothing on the left for us to fight. There's 15 to 18 and any, eight, oh God, what? About 15 to 18 enemies is what I meant to say before I had like a cranial like impairment, but yeah. Copy that. All right, everyone Overwatch, great. We heard a muton, we know he's there. I hear something there, but it's gotta be pretty far away. And it's not these guys. Oh, here we go, now we see stuff. It looks like drone, mech, guy, and that's it. I don't wanna fight that pod in the slightest. That is not what I wanna ambush. So I think what I'm gonna do now is take some time to sneak up the right. I think I heard another muton stomping around here. We'll try to go for the command pod way out back here. That's usually much, much, much bigger. Or actually, you know what? Uh, never mind that plan. Since we know this mech pod was screwing around out here and we don't want to fight it, let's go the other direction. We'll come all the way up here, all the way to the elevation up here, and then we'll engage the command pod from this elevation uh, spot. But, obviously, this is going to take me several whiles to set up. Uh, so, unless I activate right now by mistake, I'll just edit out the several whiles. Nope, we see nothing. All right. Aha! There we go. That's what I want to fight. That's the rainbow pod. I just found them with Varnect. We see where they are. They're way back here. We want to fight that pod last. Uh, so it looks like I'm actually not even going to use this elevation that I was talking about. Let's come back here and just see what's over there really quick. And for the most part, we see just a bunch of trees. So I want to move everyone all the way down here then as far away as possible. And we'll engage from maybe one or two people will have elevation, but everyone else will come in from this direction uh, once I get done dashing them across the fields. Okay, so they're walking in. They started here, they came over there to this spot, then they came back here, and now they're coming back. Uh, so I believe next turn I'm going to ambush them. What I want to do is not look at that. I want to see their movement range up to here. So ideally I want to have Razor, who is right here, in a place where he can ambush them. 
Uh, and I want to be just a few tiles away. He has nine range, so it looks to me like something like this would be perfect. Order even that tree. Where are they going to go? They were coming back this way. Let's uh, let's move right there then with Razor. I think that's going to be the best place. Whoa! Okay then. I'm not sure what that is. I don't really care. Let's kill it all. However, before we do all the killing... We're gonna need to get set up here for maximum volume of damage. So Shelb's over there, in the high cover location. And then I believe Macronova probably in a support position, uh, possibly back here. Move, move, move. And then Ryan, as I recall, actually has decent aim. We don't want him too far to the right. I wouldn't mind him being up here, but then he couldn't steady. It's a dicey, it's a dicey place for him. He's also half decent at tanking too, but you know what? Oh, does he have hit and run now? Oh, this is the old hit and run though. This hit and run's a little bit different in 1.3. So I'm not quite sure what to do with him. I don't think moving here is good because we might activate that mech, but at the same time, not moving here is also not good because he needs to get closer in case he has to run and gun. Great, we'll steady. Now, can anyone else steady though? The answer is... I don't think Shelbs can. I don't think any. I think I, the only people who have steadies are gunners. So Mr. K doesn't have one, and that's it. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure what we're gonna do is uh, fight a whole bunch of stuff in just a second. Let's put a Varnek someplace back here. Just get an eye in this general location for what's up. We see nothing. Do we have a conceal on Varnek? We have Reaper, which means we. Why don't we have conceal on Varnek? Oh, we do. It's there, right there. Conceal. I'm wondering now, with all of this stuff, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That must be a rainbow pot of eight, the two sectoids, a muton elite, and probably something else with them. So that's not so bad. And that's going to be 12 enemies out of the up to 18, and we know there's another four. That puts it to 16. That could be everything on the map right there, actually. Could be just a pot of three, a pot of four, and a pot of eight. So we'll see in just a second, though. For now... Let's overwatch all. This is gonna line up perfectly. They're doing exactly what I wanted. They're coming to greet Razor. Oh, Razor. Oh, Razor. Oh, could this finally be the literal 100% perfect flaming? Oh, there's another guy. Another Rocketeer. That's fine. God, that's a Muton Elite, though. And I hear that Mac over here. I'm pretty sure then... So we have 8, 4, and 4. That's 16. And that's everything on the map then, unless there's a pot of two somewhere. But guys, I'd like to inform you. I would very much like to inform you that I believe that as of right now, I have pulled off the perfect, and I mean 100% literal, I've been waiting for this all campaign, every single enemy in a pot of eight and every single one of their tiles is about to get... Flamethrower to a crisp, yes, Razor, you can't get me better than that. Elite officer burning! Uh, Sentinel burning! Come on! Gren Grenadier is burning! Whoever that guy was is not burning. Elite trooper is burning! That's four, I think. Five! Six! Did Razor just burn six out of eight? Or was it seven out of eight? I'm not even sure. Also, it might be- maybe- and then another burning! Oh my god, Razor! Okay, we do have a Muse on Elite, a two Sectoids, and some other doofus to care about. But good heavenly hash browns. Now let's can let's uh, assess the situation here. This guy's burning. Is the gunner? The gunner is not burning. This other that's two burning, three burning, four burning, five burning, six burning. Where's the other one? Have I lost sight of one of them somehow? Who's this? So where did these guys go? Sectoid, sectoid, muton, rocket eater. Got to keep attention to that. This guy's also right by an explosive barrel, but if we blow that up, I think it'll also blow up the supplies. We don't want to do that because it is a supply raid, and those crates do matter on this. Oh, and this guy's burning. Okay, Razor just burnt seven out of eight enemies. I don't know how much damage he did, but he lit seven people on fire just like that. Wow. I don't even know what to say about this. Well, uh, let's say this. Grind, you have a incendiary grenade, which we could use to completely shut down this mutton, no problem, that would be great. Do I want to do that, though, is the question. God, I'm not even sure. So what do I have to worry about? The gunner, the rocketeer, sectoid, sectoid, and that doofus. But what can we do with everyone? I could always pop that. Also, Ryan has impact fields. 
Reduce damage by 33% for two turns. Now that is six turn cooldown. That is a legitimate balanced thing. Like it's strong, but not completely game breaking. Although with the way it works with armor, I'm not sure. Uh, but it's a pretty not horrific thing like a lot of other stuff. So it looks like Ryan here, he has hit and run. I could move and shoot, but he already, well, he has also steady that he just used. I could, since he has the arc pulse, so with steady, Hit a sectoid for 65 stun gunner, 25% weapon. Oh wait, did he not steady? All right, steady aim doesn't apply to the arc pulser. And he doesn't really have any good shots, per se, then. Interesting, if I run a gun too far, we could be in for a world of pain, in terms of uh, activating more stuff. I would kind of want to come over here with him. Oh, look at that, he would have elevation and he would also have a flank shot uh, with his uh, slug shot from right here, and he could hit that Rocketeer. Would he have any chance of killing it though? 7 to 12 with a not so great chance to crit because steady weapon would go away. I don't know. Here's a question, who else can deal with that Rocketeer though? And as far as I can tell, uh, pretty much no one. So I think we're gonna do this. Ryan, let's move you, we're gonna run and gun. This may activate four or more things right now, but I feel like I don't care, and it would be fun if it happened anyway, so let's do it. It's the best way to take out that uh, Rocketeer. I did hear the, the... Even if this doesn't activate, that mech sounded really close to me, I bet it's gonna hear Ryan shot right now. Now the question is, do I want to 100% arc pulser the Rocketeer? Because that's the one thing that can really screw me over. Or, do I want to slug shot him for 85? Answer, of course, obviously, Arc Pulser. That'll just shut down the Rocketeer, we can deal with it next turn. That's... <laughs> I've never heard that one before. Uh... Oh, I thought he, he he actually meant like he was going to shock the thing. Like he's shocking the guy. I thought he meant like, it's a shocking result. A shocking turn of events, as they say. Uh, all right, well, someone needs to stop talking, and that's someone is uh, me. So, the best way to deal with this Muton, since we're not gonna kill it right now, is clearly grind. Throw a frigging incendiary grenade on its face, would you? For some reason, I always have issues with incendiary grenades. Something just binged, I don't know what that was, who cares? Uh, but regardless, grind, light this guy aflame. Thank you. That's a 9 out of 12 things crowd controlled, just like that. Poof, only hit for 4 though. Well, he does have 3 armors, so there's that. Now how do I deal with the sectoids and the gunner is the big question. Well, number one, Shelves is here, so that's probably going to be the answer to everything. Only a 55 though. That's surprising. Alright, well I do have both a command and conceal and also reaper. What kind of fleshes could we do? Enough to actually kill everything? Not even remotely close. God, we need a, we need a much better sword here. Much, 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 much better. So I think that the sense, the senseful thing here with shelves is to shoot this elite gunner. A 55% of shelves, go for it. It's the only one not controlled. Swing and a miss, but we now have locked on. Do I want to, at this point, apply... Oh, I don't even have it. I thought I could use Macronova to... Who is the commander? Oh, it's Varnect. And Varnick has Command and Oscar Mike. Okay, well neither of those are very useful right now. Fine, Shelves, let's do this. Let's rapid fire now. A 260s, go to town, please. Nice, hit one. Do two, please. Please. Ah, oh, swing and a miss. And hit for four. So Shelves missed a 50 something, missed a 60, and grazed another 60. And that gunner is uncontrolled. The only one pretty much on the map, uncontrolled, except the two sectoids at this point. However, there's still a lot of damage that needs to be dealt next turn. So I need to consider how exactly I'm going to deal a lot of damage. And I think the answer here is, Mr. K, you're the best chance. Let's hail of bullets this gunner and hopefully just execute him. Great! Oh, one wow, max roll for 15. Just the two sectoids remain uncontrolled for at least this turn. And I have Varnect and Macronova, okay? And I don't think there's anything really worth combat protocoling. No, not, not particularly. A 
And I could probably use those combat protocols against the mechs, so why don't I just do this? We're not gonna take any real shots, except for maybe the sectoids. Uh, so why don't I just airdrop a grind? If I can find him, is he the last target? Yes, he is. We'll do that uh, two times. Or, since everyone's in high cover and smoke, I could aid protocol, but I'm not gonna need it. It's kind of silly to aid protocol against two sectoids. I'm better off saving it for next turn when things can actually fight. So the sectoids are uncontrolled, but who really cares? They'll do some kind of psi nonsense. We won't care about it, and that'll be it. And as for Varnax, do I want to break conceal right now? I mean... I'm not sure there's any reason not to break conceal. And I think we do have trade craft, or what was it? Shadow Strike? Do I have Shadow Strike? No, Varnick doesn't have Shadow Strike. But there's really no reason to not get him in the battle. It's more a matter of just like who's a smart thing to attack. Well, Shield Batter would be a good target. Lots of damage. Might activate though. A Sentinel? Hey, is that Sentinel not burning? D did I mistake? Where is it? Right here? Is this- is this guy not burning? No, he's burning. Okay. We can really go anywhere we want with Varnect. The Sentinel, I think, is gonna be the hardest thing to kill, and we probably don't have to worry about the Sectoids hitting him if he's out back here. So why don't I do that? There's no real sense in popping Reaper now, though, but maybe next turn we could have some Reaper fun. However, if I wanted to have Reaper fun next turn, it makes a lot of sense to be even further away so that I can get maximum, maximum flesh damage on a lot of stuff. But that actually makes a lot of sense. Let's move Varnax down into the street. And I think what we'll do is we'll move him... Uh, that's probably a good place. We'll just leave him there. Great. Overwatch. I could have commanded somebody. I probably should have now that I think about it because I have four commands. Maybe shelves just to lay some damage in or something. Alright, this is gonna take forever. Burn, a burn, a burn, yep, great, a burn, great, burn, uh-huh. Burn, burn, <laughs> razor, burn. Everything burns. Everything. Alright, the AI is really struggling now. It's gonna want to double move everybody. FPS that are a little bit low, because it's trying to figure out, to like, where do I double move 27 guys? Smart moves all around on the AI's part so far. Let's speed this up a little bit though. Great, you hunker. Muton actually just... Okay, great. Everyone group up for grenades, thank you. Great. Great. Oh god, they are just really grouping up. Great. Love it. You actually have an action with which you're gonna do something to Razor. Psy nonsense, most likely. A panic. Okay, great. And what do you do? You sh- Oh! I- Okay! Orion hit, he doesn't pierce the ablative though. I like how I was like, oh, they're not gonna shoot him. Well then, right off the bat, number one, let's grab Macronova. Let's have some fun. Let's revival away that whatever the heck is going on, because we don't care about that. Great. Razor. Would you like to- Oh my god, look at all these guys in front of you though. How would you feel about shooting a rocket or something like that at all of them? I'd like to save the Burninate for the other stuff. Oh god, look at that. 1.2 tiles. We hit all manner of guys. I cannot not do this. A razor! A rocket's ahoy! Okay, four, two, one, four, five, one. Shred, 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 shred. That's all I care about. And now then, let's get some order damage in here. It looks like Shelves has a 94. We don't care about that. We don't care about the Sentinel. The Officer is a 62. That's interesting. We can't actually flank the officer. We're one tile short. The officer's probably what we can do the best amount of uh, damage on. So let's do that. Let's get it down. Well, not the best. What I mean is get it low enough for Reaper. Uh, Shelb 62, officer. Okay, great. Hit only for six, though. Fascinating. What do we want to do now with shells? I'm not sure. It kind of depends on what we can do with grind in terms of controlling everyone. And we really want to knock everyone down here to get them to the point where we can kill everything. Or, or I just want to hit this Muton and uh, shred him fairly badly. What can Grind do? What can Grind do? I don't want to kill corpses, that's fine, that's fine. You know what, I think I'm going to focus on the Muton and getting him out of cover. 
and then hope that Shelves can do a whole bunch of damage to him in the process. Uh, so let's focus this thing right there, grind, blow up that tree, shred that Muton Elite, great. A poof. That's fantastic. Very satisfying, those that are grenades. And uh, now, Shelves, do you have a shot on the Muton? I hope. I'm not actually sure what's going on here. Rocket, the Trooper, 50, Muton Elite 55, low cover. It doesn't have low cover, though. It literally, its cover is destroyed. All right, so let's fix this by just teleporting back and forth. Because I don't want to save and reload. Great, now we have a cover exposed against the Muton. 85%, uh, screw that. Let's pop a free reload. And let's go rapid fighter shelves. 70% Muton Elite. God, do I want that? What? Okay, well, that's one way to do it. Shelves just straights up and kills him. No problem. Rocketeer out there is still a concern, but you know what? It might be time, or at least it's getting close to time, for a Reaper chain. Or is it really? Will we have enough damage? Wait, wh what's going on over here? Why does uh, Ryan... Well, he does still have an 85 there. That's fine. Huh, I actually don't have enough damage to really take everything out. But you know what, though? It'll be fun regardless. What kind of uh, fleshes can we get? 93 for all his health, great. That's not really gonna happen. This almost certainly. He has a 9, great. And then we'll have to figure it out from there, so 9-9. Nine, nine. All right, then, uh, let's do it. A uh, Varnect, if you'd be so kind as to pop a Reaper. Oh, my, a quick. And then anything else we want to pop for some good reason? I don't think so. All right, let's do it. Flesh number one. It only makes sense, I guess, to go for this guy. Or was the next guy? He was also 95, right? 93? All right, sure. A Varnect, a slice and a dice, a many times. Oh, what the hell just happened? I, I could have sworn he parried. I don't know why the animation got all screwed up. But okay. And now then. Now this guy, 8 to 12. Anything but a min roll and we're good to go. So I'm going to assume we can handle this. Also, why is Varnex aim so low? Aim 73, weapon accuracy 25. That's incredibly bad. I guess if I'm further away, I can get Lone Wolf. So why don't I attack from like out here then? And then hopefully we'll get Lone Wolf on the next one. I'm a little worried, actually, that Varnek's not going to kill this guy. But let's have faith in the power of Varnek. Okay, he minrolled. Wonderful. Well, there goes my Reaper chain. And now everything's going to stand up and Varnek standing in the open. Not surprising. Like, I, I'm not really surprised in the slightest by that. So we'll aid protocol of Varnek. <laughs> you got a minroll when you have an 8 to 15 damage range. Always a minroll. Now let's do this. Let's pop impact fields. I don't... Well, it's, it's actually yellow, right? Does it use an action? It does. Okay. Surprising. I don't know how that works exactly, but who cares? 85% a slug shot Orion. Uh, let's hit this uh, Rocketeer pretty hard. Great. Not hard enough, though. Actually, hit for 12. That's really hard. But I'm Mr. Ready. K, reload. At this point, we're going to have to area suppress as many things as possible to help keep a Varnect alive. And I'm not sure what that is. What's gonna be the worst case scenario here? Rocketeer to Granadier to Sentry, extremely bad. Oh, good lord. All right, here we go, great. Uh, Sentry burns for three. The Grenadier burns for three. This guy burns for one. This guy burns for three. That guy's dead. This guy burns for three. Sentry standing in the open, though. All right, what happens now? So, the shield better moves and shoots Varnek, point blank. 24%, swing and a miss. Hopefully, he's getting Lone Wolf. Rocketeer, rockets, and there goes my Overwatch. Oh, good lord. Good lord. 49%. There comes a sectoid. Grind, you may not make it out of this, friend. All because of a mineral and a freaking sword. Orion seems to be having issues of the controlling his mind variety. The sentry move and shoot at the exposed Mr. K. You're gonna hit for sure or hit for seven. Yep, not surprising. Overwatch. The sectoid resurrect. Great. 
So this guy shoots at the controlled Orion, nothing, and surprisingly, we're not completely dead. Okay. Well, this is obviously awful, but it could have been much, much, much worse. Do we have any other abilities? No, we don't. Macronova, let's pop immediately combat protocol on the sensor or sentinel. Like break the overwatch so we can do as we please. Uh, then, immediately after that, make sure nothing's anywhere or great, nothing is anywhere. We're gonna need to somehow kill all this stuff. That's not a big concern. I really want to get Ryan out of control of this thing here. I'm not 100% sure how to do that. I do have the demolition ability to demolish it, and then who could kill it to knock it out? Maybe Shelbs? But Shelbs really has other concerns with all of this stuff, like... 58... 56... 35... All right, let's do this. Let's have Shelbs just clean up as many people as possible. We're gonna start off on uh, the Elite Rocketeer used his rocket. I don't think he matters, so we'll start with a 58 on him. Okay, great, we hit. If we missed, it wouldn't have mattered, because what I really need to do here is walk fighter this Grenadier to take him out. 86, 96 degrees. Okay, great, Shelbs, a double kill. And now, Shield Better is most likely going to move and shield if given the opportunity. So what can we do with Razor? He only has a basic SMG, and he has one more flamethrower. I'd like to use the flamethrower on the other stuff. Uh, but we could come up here and flame a sectoid if we wanted. I really want to free Ryan out of this control. Alternatively, we could kill this guy, but you know what? I think the best bet for that is actually going to be Varnect. So let's do this. Let's move a grind up to this hitter cover. Okay, great. I want to take out this sectoid. I could either incendiary him to get a ton of damage on him and then burn him with a razor from the other tree, or I could throw the grenade to knock out his cover, freeing him up for Mr. K to suppress him. But I also want to kill that rocket eater who has not used his rocket. So Mr. K should probably move up and area suppress if possible. So with that in mind, uh, let's use Grind's uh, Plasma Grenade, we'll hit the tree, we'll hit the Sectoid. The uh, very likely, we'll not kill him, but do a ton of damage. Good job, Grind. And now Razor can probably even finish this up without using a let's Flamer. Let's also see, though, if we activate more doing this. Uh, nope, we don't. Wow, Razor only has a 65. Or I could guarantee that with the Flame. If the Flame fails... We are out of options unless I want to move in command with Varnak, which might not be so bad. Alright, let's just try that then. Razor, you'll be fine. Pop Fortify just in case you're not, though. And let's 65% of this sectoid. And you missed. I'll get him next time. Run and try on ammo. Uh. Alright, Mr. K, move to some place with better cover. It looks like you're actually flanking that sectoid. Could you maybe... It says 10. It says he's yellow, but he's getting high cover. Is this the case of, like... I have to... Oh, he's being flanked by someone. Never mind. I'm just going crazy is all. All right. So in this case, we're going to move Varnect. We're going to move him over to Razor Smoke. We may take a rocket heater, so let's pop incoming. Why did it just show me the, the rocket heater? I pop incoming, it's like, yup, here's the rocket heater. Uh, and now, who is the best bet to obliterate that sectoid? Well... Razor has a small... I have so many grenades, I could just blow it up, and then we don't have to worry about it. I think I should do that. Well, let's use one of Grind's grenades to guarantee success heater. So we'll command Grind. And Grind to toss out yet another plasma grenade. Oh, also, while you're at it, hit that car, would you? Uh, just to scratch a little bit and show that other sectoid what cars are all about. Or, you know, don't- wow! Crit for 11, grind, okay, crazy. Meanwhile, we have Ryan here, his arc throw is back up. He doesn't have many shots, though, but what he can do... Doesn't show him as having action points, but I know he does. Let's reload, and let's arc throw that elite rocketeer again. <laughs> I do not want that rocket anywhere near my squad. <laughs> That's some, uh, solid Star Wars stuff right there, and then last but not least, Mr. K could 
Area suppress. Uh, there's no point. Let's solo suppress. Because then we'll actually get a shot if he moves on the Sentinel. Okay, looks good. The Razor's a little exposed, but he has Fortify. Here comes the final pod. Mech, Drone, Stun Lancer, a Mutton. The shield better moves. Okay, come on. This is going to take forever. Moves, shields, as always. Yep, great. The zombie moves. Oh, no, don't, don't. Oh, no. Grind. There's a zombie. There's a zombie grind. Do it. Wow, grind. <laughs> Do a barrel roll. A sectoid shoots. 48% on Ryan. Swing and a miss. A sentry hunkers. And that's it for them. Okay. Well, that Reaper chain, though, it was pretty good, right? Pretty good. The shield is going to be kind of an issue. Shelbs, do you have a shot? You have 100 on the zombie and a 50. You know what? Let's take that 50. On the shield better. Looks like we have a swing and a miss. It's fine. Free reload. Let's do it again. Two more times. Rapid fire. 55. Shelves. I think you hit. Please kill it, though. I want to get rid of the shields. Nice. Shelves. That's a big help. Uh, five, five, six. Now then, Razor has one more burn innate. And there's no reason for him not to use it on everything he can hit, which is really only going to be these two things over here. Or, if I come here, I could burn this guy and that guy. I don't think so. Then again, if he comes up here, he's burning, and this car... Actually, the car is in good shape. So I could come here and burn those two. That's a sentry, by the way, not a stun lancer. Okay, let's do this then. Raise it or move up to the car. And let's uh, shut down both this sectoid and also this sentry. Like, okay. I guess we can't really hit them both with both their tiles, but let's focus the tile on the sentry and we'll just graze the sectoid. A razor, double. Nice standing in the fighter, by the way. But yeah, double burnination. I love it. And burn, burn. Very, very fantastic. How many burns is that? Nine with two flamers so far for Razor? That's kind of insane, I would think. However, how do I deal with everything else now? So, first things first. We need to thin out some of this stuff. Good lord. I'm actually not sure how I'm going to deal with that mech. And Grind doesn't have the range to get the Muton healed up either. Well, Orion has hit and run, so I could at least use it to take out the drone, but really the bigger threat here is the mech. If only I had uh, Slug shut up again, but we don't have that, we don't have anything, so I guess Orion, where do you order hit and- Does hit and run work on exposed target? What does hit and run even do? Standard shot at a flanked or exposed target. I don't know if it'll work on this or not, uh, but we'll find out because there's really nothing else to do. 80% Orion. Great, one less drone. And it does indeed not work. Okay. Doesn't work on flying units. Or, or it probably doesn't work on mechs either, then. Uh, things are getting dicey. What can we combat protocol? You, you, and you. And actually, all of those things are valid targets, but so is this mech. What could we get a little bit more damage on the mech with, I ask? And the answer is very likely probably not going to be Grind because he can't get anywhere. Let's see what Grind can hit, though, from this location. Uh, can he hit this mech? Actually, he can graze it, but he can't quite hit it the way I'd like him to. All right, then. What we're going to have to do is let's use a Macronova. We're going to aid protocol someone. I'm not quite sure who yet. Uh, probably... They're not really gonna... Let's aid protocol Mr. K, I think. They might shoot at Ryan, but he can survive. Mr. K cannot. Then, we'll use Macronova's combat protocol to knock out this elite rocketeer, which no one else can do, can do right now. And then, we'll use Grind... Although this isn't, like, my favorite plan in the world. I feel like it kind of has to be done. Let's toss out a plasma grenade on top of this guy here. I don't want to hit the car so it doesn't blow up a razor. We can sh uh, Yeah, let's focus it. I think that's going to hit the car. 
Is that not hitting the car? It's really hard to see. That's hitting the, the loot. You know what? Screw this. It's being annoying. Let's toss an incendiary grenade on the sectoid. That should shut him down completely. A five damage, sure. Grind. Do it. God, that's so scenic. Just launching fighter into fighter. Boom. He's dead. Loot's gone, but zombie's dead, and it won't, like, punch the grind in the back. So that's very important. And then we're going to move Mr. K up here with his aid protocol. This is kind of dangerous. But from this tile here, everything else is controlled. That guy will be killed. This guy's burning. The muton's not controlled. I'm hoping it doesn't kill Mr. K right now. It doesn't have line of sight, though. Hopefully I just shoots Ryan. But, oh, oh, I forgot. I, I was going to suppress the mech, but I actually can't. Because I don't have one ammo. We cannot leave this sentry alive, and the only way to deal with that, then is going to be a Varnak. So let's command or use fall back. I think on Mr. K. So he still has an action to shoot. Oh, can't even use fall back on him. I can use fall back on everyone but him. <laughs> this, okay, fine. Let's use it on grind then. I don't know where he'll fall back to. Do I even want to do that though? Because he's in high cover. Maybe he'll fall back here. I'm hoping. All right, grind. Let's see what fall back makes you do, right? Uh, what the hell is this? Grind! Secured. How is that a fallback? Now Grind's standing in the open against that Muton. Well, but there it goes Grind's! There it goes Grind's. Probably, we'll see. 37% though? Oh, because he's hunkered? This makes no sense to me, like... Let's move over here with you. Varnacht. So we can shoot him for 56, and we can stab him now for 76. Or I could just command Grind to throw a grenade on him. He has to die one way or the other, and Grind's the best bet, and Grind might actually die right now, so... Oh, good lord, this is horrific. Why did I use fallback? Alright, Grind, throw a grenade on the sentry, take him out, good day, friends. That may or may not be the last action of this campaign for you. Uh, we'll see. But we have a 45 on the mech and a 20 on the Sentinel. Should I take the 45 or just run away? If we get hit by the micro missile, well, we do have an armor to withstand it. But what I'm really concerned about is the Muton running up and shooting at Mr. K. If he hits, Mr. K could die. Also, the Muton will probably run up and shoot Grind, though. So why don't we 45% the longbow and hope Mr. K can just uh, max roll. Nope, he couldn't even hit. Well, painful things that are about to ensue. Here comes the mech. It's gonna micro-missile someone, probably. Nope, it's gonna micro-missile Razor. That's fine, Razor has ablative to, to withstand that. And this guy doesn't go to kill Grind. Yeah, Grind must be so happy. He goes after Ryan. Ryan's okay, though, because he 53% got lucky. And this guy just double moves. Okay, great. Well, this was sloppy. Sloppy as can be. God, look at all these fires, though. They look so much better at 60 FPS than they did at, like, half that. Uh, so, how do we kill all this stuff? Can shells even move up and shoot anything is the question. Answer... Uh, no. Makarova, do you still have a com combat protocol? Answer, no. The grind still has grenades, though. And we can move him up here and probably not be able to actually hit many things. That's fine, though. We'll move him up for now. Razor needs to get out of here. He has no cooldowns, no abilities, no nothing. But he does have tons of armor. So why don't we move him to flank the Muton, at the very least? Here I come. And then let's see what Grind can do with his one remaining grenade. He can either scratch this guy, scratch that guy, or uh, end this sentry. Let's end the sentry. Plus, it's just going to be glorious. Glorious! Oh, yep. Crit for 11 somehow. And also, another hit. It's not actually 11, though. I think it's like 6 or something. So, oddly enough, I'm having issues here. Like, how am I going to finish up these last guys? Well, Orion's up here. He can always reload. He does indeed have the Arc Pulsar. Why don't we use it 100% on the mech longbow for 4 to 9 with Pierce? Looks good. What do you hit for, though? Answer 7. Not bad. 
That's something. Wow, Macronova is pretty much out of everything, but he does have the ability to heal someone. So let's move Macronova up. And let's heal Mr. K so he can actually... Oh, wait, no, I could haywire a protocol. Eh, I'd r rather heal Mr. K. I don't want anyone dying from, like, a stray shot. This is not as easy as I thought it might be. Let's dash shelves up because she can't do anything else. Does she have any shots from where she is, though? Nope, of course not. Mr. K has to reload. He's got a 62 or he can suppress. I'm not sure yet. Does Razor have the ammo to suppress? No, he'd have to reload. Very unfortunate. Alright, well we can't stab the Muton. We know that much. So I need to command someone to do something. And I really don't have anyone who can do anything. It might actually make sense to command a Razor to reload and suppress the Muton, and then we suppress the mech. I think I'm gonna do that. So Razor, reload. And then let's see if we have command here on Razor. Yes, we do. Let's blow it right now with Varnex. Good lord. This is turning into kind of a battle of sorts. And now, let's suppress this Muton. He's probably just gonna run, but he'll very likely run away. And then with Mr. K, the only remaining person, we suppress this guy, shutting down his missiles, unless he runs. Okay, well, they're both suppressed. So that's a thing. Mech runs the Overwatch. Mr. K is swinging a miss. A myth, a miss. Wow. I'm a miss. I tried to correct myself. Oh no, not another one. Well, luckily, I healed Mr. K, so he's not gonna die. And he didn't get hit for very much. Great, this guy runs the Overwatch. He's actually going towards Razor. Is he gonna try to melee? No. What is he gonna try? Is he gonna shoot Grind? Oh god, Grind! No! Whew. I feel as though I created that by screeching and convulsing violently. The, I'm pretty sure that was 100% thanks to me doing those things. Otherwise, you'd be dead. You're welcome, Grind. You're welcome. Interestingly enough, I can come over here and get a terrible shot with Ryan. God, hit and run is literally turning out to be the worst thing in the game. Uh, however, one thing he can do, if I wanted to, is just straight up murder this mech from Elevation with a slug shot. 80%. You know what? He'd have better odds right next to it, I think. Why don't we get closer? No we'll give up the 10 uh, aim bonus. And instead, we'll pick up a proximity bonus of 5. Looks good, Ryan. 85% slug shot through armor. There goes that guy. By the numbers. Now... Really, how do I take out this, uh, Muton? Let's move up here with Shelbs. Okay, I'll go. But it's like an epic fight against one Muton. 35, though. Grind's actually out of stuff. We're out of airdrops. Alright, let's do this. Let's move Grind away, because I don't want him dying. Get it done. God, this is, like, really... kind of crazy. Oh, a Mr. K could move up here, no demolish his cover, which will convert it into a lower tier cover. Looks good, Mr. K. Great. He now has half cover, and now Shelbs should have a much better 50% shot. Oh, order 235s. Let's go 235 Shelbs. Go pro. Nice. So we're going to hit number two. Oh, Shelbs went pro. Look at that! Hit for 10 and critical hit for something else with 235s. Alright then, all things considered, uh, pretty good. Uh, pretty fun. I liked it. Although, that Reaper chain though, if that didn't fail... Although it was kind of risky to begin with, but if it didn't fail, Varnak would have immediately picked up like 4 or 5 more kills. There, there wouldn't have been a rocket, and it potentially could have been flawless. But alas, uh, such is the price you pay for trying to reap the benefits of swords. Whatever the hell that means.
Mr. K, 17 days, that's fine. Wow, Sheld's got a promotion, good lord. Do I want to go to Rapture with her or Combat Fitness? She... Hmm. I think I'm gonna go a Combat Fitness this time. Even though Rapture is amazing. Ooh, yeah, or I could go Kill Zone. Nah, I'll go a Combat Fitness. We'll see how it works out. Also, Ryan, yield promotion. Three missions, huh? And you're a Gunnery Sergeant. Clearly, that bug is still bugged. It's not actually fixed in 1.3, but I'm not using that just now. Uh, let's go... I don't know what to go, because he's not really into close combat specialists. He has no crit perks. I guess untouchable, which seems really weird. I guess that might help with getting hit and run. I don't know. We'll try it. I'm trying random things. We'll see. Also, 17 days on grind. Not bad, all things considered. Really, it would have been flawless if not for um, the Reaper. But Perception 4, thanks Grind for grabbing that on your fallback. I'm glad that you had the greed, the ultimate greed, as they say, to on your fallback command run into the open to grab loot. That was brilliant. One Muton Elite, fantastic. Officer, shield better, drone, who cares, Mac, who cares, who cares. Alloys, okay. Illyrium, okay. And 144 supplies. Well, that was not the best, but also not the worst. I'll take it regardless. Now, I definitely have missions that need to be queued up immediately. Looks like we have nine days in the Shadow Chamber. Number one mission, I think, is going to be send Varnak off to do the Black... or this facility. He should be able to solo it, but I could also send in Naya with him. The other two missions I wanted to do, I think, was maybe this one. The seven days recover item will be fine on that, I think, without a Shinobi. And this one over here, it looks like. Rescue VIP. Okay, we probably don't need a shinobi on that either. And then this one here, what is this? That's something I'm not doing. All right. Well, let's go queue up the facility first. Because any second now, we're going to get that pip filled, and then we're going to start losing uh, time we can never reclaim. So, Varnak, it's going to be you. And just to be safe, I think I'll send Naya in as well. And this looks good. Let's just make it a little bit quicker, though. Why don't we give Varnek a chameleon suit, because we weren't low enough as it was. Three days, 12 hours for two people to get to 100%. Can we do any uh, suppressors? We have regular suppressors. It looks like that's all we have. Great. We'll toss that in as well. I don't think Naya has one either. Three days, six hours. We can give her one. Uh, suppressor. Great. There we go. Not even using good suppressors. And we're down to three days, one hours for two shinobis. Master Sergeant Shinobis to infiltrate to 100%. That looks good. Off you go. And it looks like we have rescue and engineer, extract an engineer. Four days, 14 hours. <laughs> I just sent my shinobis off. I could theoretically pull them back. I mean, I probably only need one. It's super safe with two. How many more do we have? Where are the shinobis? Uh, busy, busy, busy. We could send, actually, well, can't really send Ian. Aldo could maybe do that. Should I send? That's kind of silly. Aldo's not even, like, trained. Is this the mission? This is the place, though, that I wanted to do the liberation. And this is a potential mission that I could do the liberation on. I could even boost it and fight through it. I'm not sure. What's the strength theater? The strength is four. Okay, I'm gonna let it go, and the reason I'm gonna let it go is because I only have one combat squad right now, and I want to go deploy them down here on this mission. This is the shorter of the two, the other one has nine days, this one has seven, there's two counter dark event missions, this one's also 125 supplies. But this looks good, let's go deploy Macronovas. Malicious Metal Contents, a minus a Grind, and minus Mr. K, so I'm not sure, and also minus Varnect. how am I gonna pull this off? Actually, this is how I'm going to pull it off. Uh, Macronovus Ministers Malcontent, brought to you by also Ryan and also Stork D coming along for the first combat mission. Let's give her armor we don't have, apparently. That's kind of weird. All right, let's go maybe build some armor. Buon could use some good armor, so could Ryan. So why don't we buy actual good armor? Plenty of supplies and decent amounts of stuff. Now let's buy 
Potentially two Warden Armors, I'm not sure, but we're gonna give one to whoever's gonna be tanking the most. Most likely Buon. He does seem to get hit all the freaking time. Wow, Buon though, look at that, brown. A very stylish, it's like bronze. And then a Stork D will give that to the healer, great. And then we'll go for a bit of the old personal combat sims, depth perception as always. And then I think, actually, her gear hasn't been upgraded in ever. The stock, elite stock, scope, that's it, just a regular scope, and let's go advanced. Expanded magazine, great. Anything else to do for this squad? I don't think so, everyone has... Did I give Macronova a... Oh, nope, he actually has merged PCSs. He has two hacking. Macronova, you hacky hacker. Let's pull out the 11 and the 9. We'll give you back the 9. God, I... So... Hacking this campaign. That's all I've been doing is apparently hacking. Well, Macronova is a much worse hacker now. What does Shelbs have for her PCS? Hyperreactive hyper pupils. That was, like, not even something I meant to do. Do you have anything better than that for her? Perception? That's much better than hyperreactive pupils. Great. And what does Ryan have? Impact field, which is fine. All right, this squad looks great. They're going to be under 100%, over 100%. 125, actually. So off you go. Okay, and it looks like next up will be Izgator here in some amount of time. And then after that, we have Wades, Wise, and Wazox. Once Wades, Wise, and Wazox are down over here, we'll deploy them to counter this dark event, whatever the heck it is, right there. And yeah, so for now, I think we're just gonna scan. It doesn't really matter too much where we're going to scan. I suppose I'll just go East Asia. Well, actually, you know what? I should probably be staying down here, where I am. Eh, we'll stay over here for now. It seems like we've been running a lot of missions here. They're probably going to be pouring in the troop columns and stuff like that. A new target and rescue. Hail, uh, four days jailbreak. We're not doing that. This, this region's like 12 strength. Forget about it. A new, new target. Troop column! Three days, though. Eh, we can let that one go. It's strength seven. Whatever. Fine. And Henry's done. What does he have now? He rolled Kubi Kiri. I just don't see how I'd use that, really. I mean, he does have crit a lot of, but not, like, enough. And I don't really care, and it takes two actions, so... He'd have to lose three shots to gain... It's like, who cares? He can just rupture whatever he wants to death. It's pointless. Who can go in his place, though? Looks like Matt Love has locked on Will to Survive. Let's go Will to Survive. Looks good. Wow, everyone's busy or training, like the whole barracks. Well, let's keep scanning. And it looks like next up is a Rescue or Extract VIP. We're sending in Matthew Durand alone. And I think after this, we have another mission with Izgatora. So tomorrow is going to be a double uh, scout mission. Maybe I'll even do a third one if they go quick. Like with this Wade's Wise and Wazak one. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.